This is for number question number two of 27 on math 161 practice test number two. Um, the graph of f of x is given. It's a rational function, I can see. Solve the inequality. Write the solution set in interval notation if possible. So given this graph, we're looking for where f of x is less than zero, f of x is less than or equal to zero, f of x is greater than zero, and lastly, f of x is greater than or equal to zero. The line that we should be looking at is the y, I'm sorry, the x-axis. So let me try something real quick. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this. And I'm gonna, I want to draw on this, so hold on. I want to send it to my little iPad. Okay. I'll open this file in my notepad and then we will talk about those areas. Okay. Here it is. Okay, so let's first look at areas or regions where f of x is less than zero. Hold on, I don't think my pencil was paired. It's okay now. When they ask for the interval where f of x is less than zero, we are looking at the part of the graph that is strictly less than zero. Oh, I'm sorry, strictly below x axis. So I'm going to go in and highlight the x-axis. Ooh, that's a little too thick. Maybe like right here, this is the x-axis. So what part of the graph is strictly below that red line? That's what they're asking. And we just have to give that answer in interval notation. Okay, so let's try. So this, what is, how much is below this? So as you can see, my blue graph, all that is below the x-axis, isn't it? And this much is below the x-axis. Um, so the blue part is below the x-axis, uh, but the orange part is above the x-axis. Do you see that? So I'll go ahead and write these. So these parts are below. But then this orange piece that's sticking up, this is above the x-axis. Okay, so let's write um, which, how much is strictly below the x-axis. So all the way to the left, all the way to the left. So that's negative infinity, right? So the answer is negative infinity to... Now look, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals positive 2. You see that dotted line at x equals 2? So what I will do is this blue piece of graph, and I'm talking about this one right here. You see how it's getting infinitely close to 2? But it's never going to touch 2 because it's a vertical asymptote. So you're going to do negative infinity to 2 union. Now let's talk about the other blue piece. Starting right here, which is 3, right? going all the way to positive infinity. So this is where the graph is strictly below the x-axis. And use parentheses in front of 3, because if you use a bracket, that means you can touch the x-axis. But that's not the case this time. That's actually the next case. So let's talk about the next part. The next part was asking for f of x is less than or equal to 0. This is below or on the x-axis. So the answer will be exactly the same as the previous blue answer, but the only difference will be in front of 3. You see, 3 is where we have the point on the x-axis, right? 
so you will want to draw a square bracket for that so we're done with below the x-axis no problem how about now we look at um, which part of the graph is above the x-axis and i'm talking about that orange piece then okay so let's see um get my orange pencil out um no actually f of x is greater than zero so which means strictly above the x-axis um if you look we have to use this vertical asymptote of x equals two uh oh my pen's not working let me try again this, this dotted line is x equals two so to the right side of x equals two it's above because to the left side you see it was the blue piece of graph underneath the x-axis so we have to say it is strictly above the x-axis starting from x of two and we we're not really above for too long we have to stop right here at three so that is where f of x is greater than or equal to zero how about f of x is greater than or equal to zero that means above or on the x axis so the answer will be almost the same as the previous one um two still gets a parenthesis because of the vertical asymptote that dotted line we were never allowed to touch that vertical asymptote but at three i'm gonna draw a square bracket after it because three is where the graph is on the x-axis so i'm gonna go ahead and enter these answers I stepped away for a second and it timed out let me see if they still give me the same problem all right so i gotta go back to the practice test number two um please be the same problem oh i think it is all right let me go ahead and enter all these answers okay so the first answer was this hold on i think you can see it this blue part so negative infinity to two union um three two positive infinity so that's the first answer now I'll scroll down uh, almost the same thing but negative infinity to two union and i need a square bracket um three to positive infinity okay now last two are the short ones so I need two, three, two, three, and then the last one is two, three, but three has a square bracket next to it. Okay, and I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and click on submit because I just want to see if we got this right. And if I go back to quick retake, I should not see number two again. It should be checked off. So that's good. All right, but that is how you can solve um, rational inequalities graphically.